Hey gang, it's 5 Comics FTW for the win. So let's get it on. Number 5. G.I. Joe, A Real American Hero, Issue 2, with a J. Scott Camel cover. I don't know what's wronger about this cover. The fact that Destro's hand holding Cobra Commander's hood is supposed to go in front of the logo, not behind it. Or the fact that Baroness is wearing a winter coat over her hot, taut, leather-clad bod. Number 4. Here's 52, Week 9, the first cameo of Batwoman in costume. The first cameo, first cover in costume, first full appearance in costume. It gets very confusing, which is probably why this was sitting in the $2 box, because anyone who would notice it and start scrolling through the Key Collector app would run out of battery before they got through all the Batwoman entries. Number 3. Here's Transformers number 2 from Dreamwave. Not long before this came out, my local news station interviewed Pat Lee and the Dreamwave guys about self-publishing Transformers, and I don't know if it was their goof, but the reporter's voiceover was saying, and they studied the cartoons to make sure they get the designs accurate. But they were showing them in front of a TV watching GoBots. Number two. Here's Batman and Robin the Boy Wonder. Number seven with a nice Jim Lee cover with Batman and Black Canary, each taking on at least a pair of jugs. I mean thugs. I, I'm not distracted by her costume. And if you look closely, she's knocking out the bad guy's teeth. I mean teeth. I, I'm not distracted by her costume. Nope, not distracted by her costume. Or the way she's looking right at me. Like I'm the next one to get a beating. Whoa. And number one. More G.I. Joe and Transformers. It's G.I. Joe versus Transformers number one with another nice J. Scott Campbell cover. Ooh, Megatron looks mad at Cobra Commander for holding a Megatron lookalike gun. He must be thinking, we'll see who grips and fingers who. Yes, that's five comics for the win. And what am I trying to win? Comics Addictions Contest. He wants you to show any five comics you like, sub to Tony Toth, and shout out two YouTubers eh, under 100 subscribers. So I'll shout out Comics Fan for Life and Comic Flip. I'll have their links in the description and I'll have Comics Addictions link in the description and at the end of the video. And ironically, I just talked about how god-awful my local flea market is, yet I bought four of these comics here last week. He had three cheap boxes and two priced short boxes. And a little advice for this guy, don't bother bringing comics priced at $199, where you can barely sell four cheap comics to me.